What a beautiful day to visit Hoenn. The weather is perfect. Pika Kill, Pika. Hey, look over there. So cool. Gas form. Pika Pee. I've seen that Pokemon once before. It's cast form. Whoa, it changed form. Pika. Let's check it out in the Pokedex. Cast form. The weather Pokemon. Cast form can change with the weather and transform itself into appearances of sun, rain clouds, and snow clouds. So it has four forms that change with the weather, and it changed form. That's weird. Is the weather changing? Pikachu. Huh? Was that a raindrop? But there is not a cloud in sight. Uh oh. Did I just say that? Pika. Ah. Where did it go? Come on, we gotta run for it. I wonder what happened to the cast form. It totally disappeared. I wish we could see it again. Ugh. I also wish I knew when this rain's gonna let up. Then we could go find that cast form. He got you. Who wants to stand around waiting? Let's call Ciara. I bet she knows something about weather changes. Hi, Ciara. Hey there, Ash. What's up? It was a really nice day. We saw this cool Pokemon cast form that has something to do with the weather, but then all of a sudden it started pouring rain. I really want to see that cast form again, but who knows when this rain will let up? That's weather for ya. Weather can be tricky 'cause it's always changing. I like to find out which way it's gonna go by checking the weather on a map. See, this is a weather map for the area where the Learning League Lab is. I check it every day to see what the weather is gonna be like. You read all of that weather junk every day? Junk? No way! It's pictures that tell me what the day will be like, and it only takes a minute. Once you learn how to read the symbols, you can figure out what's going to happen. Yeah, but what does it all mean? How does weather happen? First things first, the sun. When the sun's rays shine on Earth, some of them are absorbed into the Earth's surface. Some of the rays are absorbed by the atmosphere. The layer of gases that surround Earth, and some are reflected back into space. But the sun's energy heats the surface of the Earth unevenly. Areas of land heat up faster than bodies of water, such as lakes and oceans. Oh, is that why water can be too cold to swim in, even when it's hot out? Exactly. But that's not all the temperature differences can do. These uneven temperatures cause the air above Earth's surface to move. Cold air is heavier than warm air, so it sinks, and the lighter, warmer air rises up. So warm air is always higher, and cool air is always lower. Yeah, but the air is constantly moving and causes changes in air pressure. That's the weight of the air in the atmosphere pressing down on Earth. But air doesn't feel like it weighs anything. Well, it may be light, but we're talking about a whole atmosphere here with humidity and everything. Yeah, I guess there is a lot of air and stuff in the air, but it can be light enough to rise. And when air rises up, it leaves behind an area of lower pressure. That means the air is not pressing down so hard on Earth's surface. Let me guess: an area of high pressure happens when air sinks back down, right? Right on, because it presses down on the surface of the Earth. And you know, all that moving air is what causes winds. Ah, that makes sense. What else? Well, to really understand weather, you gotta know what's up with air masses. That's the key to temperature and humidity. What's humidity? Humidity is the amount of moisture in the air. When two air masses bump into each other, the weather changes. The boundary between the air masses is called a front. Like the front of a shirt? Not exactly. It's more like being in the front lines, right up in the middle of the action. Wow, what's that like? I want to report from the front lines. Well, if a cold air mass approaches a warm air mass, then the front is called a cold front. Hey, I've heard of that. A cold front usually brings cooler weather, doesn't it? Uh huh. It means bust out your sweaters. But when a warm air mass meets a cold air mass, that causes a warm front. That usually leaves behind warmer weather. That's when you'll need your bathing suit. Pikachu. Okay, 
So now that we all know what causes weather, it's easier to understand what's going on with those symbols on a weather map. Want to practice? Match each weather symbol to what you think it means. The sky will be clear. All right! There will be some clouds in the sunny sky. All right! A cloudy sky. Awesome! This number shows the temperature, how hot or cold the air is. You got it! High pressure system. Winds in a high pressure system blow in different directions. This usually means the weather will be fair. Awesome! Low pressure system. The winds blow in the same direction, and it usually means there will be stormy weather. You got it! Warm front. Temperature and humidity usually increase when a warm front moves in. All right! Stationary front. This means that an air mass is stuck over an area. The weather may stay the same for several days. You got it! Rain. A steady rainfall. All right! Snow. A steady fall of snow. You got it! Calm. No wind. Awesome! High winds. Awesome! Light winds. You got it! I see what you mean, Ciara. Those pictures can tell you a lot. Right. So then I know what's coming. Why don't you practice your new weather skills by telling me what the weather here is going to be like? Here's the map. The star on the map is the Learning League Lab. Okay, now I'm going to need your help. Click on the best answer to each question. The high pressure area over the park means the weather will probably be... You got it! The warm front entering the area will probably bring... You got it! The winds over the area will be... You got it! The sky over the area will be... You got it! Nice going! So it's going to be sunny here later today. That means I can work outside this afternoon. All right! But it's still raining here! And I'm still not sure where I should go to find cast form. Then you might as well try an even bigger challenge. I'm up for it! Give us a bigger map! Can you help? Listen to the weather report. Then drag and drop the symbols onto the correct locations on the weather map. A cold front is moving into Cool City. Rain is behind the cold front in the waters east of Super Duper City. It will be sunny in Awesome Town. There will be light winds over Rad Island. A low pressure system will bring stormy weather to Chill Town. A warm front is leaving the Peace Plateau. Drag and drop the symbols onto the correct locations on the weather map. A cold front is moving into Cool City.
You got it. Rain is behind the cold front in the waters east of Super Duper City. You got it. It will be sunny in Awesome Town. All right. There will be light winds over Rad Island. Awesome. A low pressure system will bring stormy weather to Chill Town. Awesome. A warm front is leaving the Peace Plateau. You got it. All right, we did it. You guys are the coolest. Just slap a cool front symbol on me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ciara. We're gonna see if we can find that cast form again. Pika. Good luck. Talk to you later. Okay, Pikachu. So maybe if we can figure out what the weather will be like around here later, we can see cast form change again. Pikachu. Well, there are a bunch of clouds here, so we probably don't want to go that way. Or we could go this way and cast form. Try again. Try again. Try again. High pressure means the warm air sinks down. Try again. A warm front is what it says it is. Warm. Try again. Calm weather means calm winds. Try again. The sun makes the weather warm. Try again. Try again. 